Let's get my life together. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Kiana, and today I'm going to be doing a Black Friday week book haul. So my Black Friday this year was very different. It started on Tuesday, and I got me like 20-something free books. 22 if you count the one that I actually bought myself, which only cost me really $10. So really, out of 20 books, I paid only $10. You think this is crazy? Yes, yes it is, but was it a success? It was. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what these books are about, cause I don't. I just got these books cause half these were on my TBR. Also they were free. Um, keyword free. So really, who's complaining here? No one. No one is complaining about free things. No. Also, Thursday we got, we succeeded in getting a TV and a Nintendo Switch, which, not for me, because I'm not a gamer, but my sister's a gamer, and we, we succeeded, we succeeded, and it was beautiful. Also, round two was the annual, like, hang out with the family, do Black Friday every year, and I succeeded, and got this makeup that I wanted that was, like, worth, like, over $40 for, like, literally 10 and I am so hyped for it so clearly this year this black friday was a complete and utter success so i started with the graphic novels so the one that i actually paid my actual full money for was the miss marvel volumes five and six uh entitled civil war two and super famous um and you're asking okay where's volume four you got them out of order you only own volume three and now five and six something is here wrong it's not anything wrong I borrowed uh, volume 4 from the library um, because that is the last volume that I read and left off of so I'm just going to borrow them from the library. It makes much more sense and also more economical for my pocket because I can just borrow books for free and return them for free without leaving my house. So it's kind of a beautiful thing. Very beautiful thing. Um, the next graphic novel I got was Check Please which is volume or book number one hockey and it's also it's dealing with food. And hockey. I know nothing about hockey, but I do know things about food. Also, these chapters are short. They actually have chapters instead of graphic novels feeling like a run-on sentence. And they're like sentences with punctuation. So it's amazing. And it's giving me little bites like food. And I'm loving it. The next two books are part of a series. It is part of the Genius series, which I own book one. Um, and this is book two and three, which is The Con and The Revolution. Also full of like amazing art and everything. I also I think the author is an artist, so which would make sense. That's pretty cool. The next book is uh, the way you make me feel by Marie Gu. I enjoy her last book, I believe in a thing called love, which was about K dramas, and I'm a K drama sucker and fan. I'm currently watching W and what happened to K uh, Secretary Kim, <laughs> and I am loving it. It's a complete diverse extremity from one extent from the other because w is just like fantasy kind of sort of fantasy but not really time travel world real world versus webtoon world and people characters jumping in and out it's very crazy and then this what happened to secretary kim is like this very egotistical guy and um, who the secretary has been working for nine years and she's tired of it and she wants to quit but then he thinks because his ego is so stinking big and she's been rubbing it for nine years that oh you know you must want to marry me or what why would you ever so want to quit your job and i'm like dude you're so your ego is so big it cannot fit in a room but it's hilarious somehow and also with a hint of mystery that i'm really enjoying it's kind of awesome so yeah let me know if you guys watch down below k dramas what you're currently watching because i need some more recommendations i'm not going to ask for anime recommendations because i'm not an avid anime watcher because apparently according to my sister i don't watch the anime that i actually recommend to her so i'm not even gonna i have nothing to rebuttal for myself <laughs> for that so yeah no mm -mm. Nope. And the next two books is from Marissa Mara, who you guys know I love and I have a whole section of. So, <laughs> you know. Here's another graphic novel, which is volume two of Going Rogue of Wires and Nerve. I love the first one. I'm a sucker for Aiko and her sass, so it's really not a surprise. <laughs> also, there is this thick, she's real thick, uh, Renegades by Marissa Meyer. It's like Lunar Chronicles thick, and I'm a little... Just a little, um, 
put off but you know it seems to have it seems to be really good it was super hyped um you guys know how i feel about hype books but she's a little thick so you know um we'll see how soon i will get to this book um the next book is bad romance by heather demetrios all i know is it's about an abusive relationship and i'm assuming the girl gets out of it the next is love scene take two by alex evansley the next book is to be honest by maggie ann martin and i feel like maggie ann martin was the late the girl who did the babysitters books for, for some reason her name sounds oddly familiar but it could be just another um author named ann and i could be really wrong but also it's a plus size girl on the cover thank goodness i'm excited for this book this book has been on my tbr for like forever and a day so i'm very excited about this the next book is foolish hearts by emma mills i have two previous books that i've hauled on this channel from her books i have not read them yet but i should most most likely should do a emma mills book binge read thing and do that yes the next book is the impossibility of us by katie upperman i also realized after refilming this, this being my third time, the previous time, that I also have another Katie Upperman book. Um, I haven't read either of those, but that's okay. Uh, this next book reminds me of The Bachelor slash Bachelorette. I don't really watch, I don't watch that show. Does that not make the person who is the Bachelor slash Bachelorette, their ego super big because they have like 12, 13 women slash men coming after them for their heart? Like really, only one of you will win, so really why but really what did you think was going to happen in the first place questions we all want to know the answers to anywho it is the boyfriend bracket by kate evan Legin evan whoa nah evan Jal jalista um and she wrote the stove cove trilogy i only own book like one wait no i own two of these books out of three crazy two out of three of these books uh which is kind of cool um haven't read either of those books of the trilogy but this just reminds me of that uh show so we'll see if you think this act this character will actually think it works out uh just like the bachelor bachelorette because, uh the next books are not the girls you're looking for by amina may saki the next one is i this is a book that i'm actually 63 pages into which is suitors and sabotage by C cindy antsy and she is the also the author of love lies and spies which i hadn't started but i started this one so i'm glad i'm gonna give myself a cookie because that was whew, took a while but finally got to it um i actually started this on the ebook and then when i got the physical copy i just found the page i left off of one and boom there we go um, the next one is Don't Forget Me by Victoria Stevens. I have no idea what this book is about. In Search of Us by Ava Delaria. So the last book is How to Breathe Underwater by Vicki Skinner. Um, I'm going to assume this is about something dealing with water, a water-related sport. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's actually supposed to be Black Friday um, <laughs> week haul, book haul. And let me know if you guys enjoy what books you guys have read enjoyed if you read them did not enjoy them also let me know down below also the k dramas if you're a k drama watcher let me know all of the things of your favorite k dramas what you're watching what you watch cried your eyes out ones that were super crazy just recommendations because i'm all about the k dramas um yeah i need to be better about the anime but you know <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe to my channel, and also click the little bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao! No, that didn't take like five.